The first step in the installation of the core daddy is to mark the mounting plate with a marker of any kind. Just put a couple dots where you can see the bolt pattern. Using a half inch concrete rotor hammer drill, drill those marks out. So once the anchors are installed, a drive pin is used to open them and seat them properly. Usually only two uh, anchors are needed. Uh, we offer four different spaces in the event that during the drilling process you, you hit rebar, you can use one of the alternate slots. The mounting guide is bolted on securely can be shimmed to create any angle up or down or left or right that you require. The next step is to slide the core bit over the guide shaft and place it up against the surface. The gearbox will be next. First, attach the right angle grinder to the 5 8 11 spindle that is provided. A right angle grinder, a gas powered chop saw, or air grinder, hydraulic grinder, anything that has a 5 8 spindle will work. This grinder turns at 5,000 RPMs. The gearbox will reduce the turning of the core bit 10 to 1 to 500 RPM. A torque arm has been provided to attach to the gearbox to take up, to take up the torque that will be created by the grinder. The torque generally doesn't exceed more than 8 pounds, 10 pounds at the most. However, the torque converter arm absorbs it. The water swivel is then placed over the spindle snugly so the O-rings are set. The crank which will provide the pressure that will drive the core bit into the concrete is the last part of the assembly. A quick connect water hose is provided. We use here just a small Hudson can is all we really need to do is excavate the water from the cut. You can hitch a garden hose to it or even a gravity fed hose will be ample water. Your water switch is turned on. Make sure water is, is, is leaking from the bottom of the core bit. Turn your right angle grinder on. Okay, now watch them take it apart. This is, the, this is the key thing. Go ahead and take one piece apart. So remove the system exactly like we installed it, pulling off the crank handle first with care so we don't strip the threads. The water swivel disconnect and pull back releasing the gasket. The gearbox assembly will be released.
and with care pull the core out. It's very heavy. Make sure it doesn't fall. As you can see, rebar is penetrated without any problem.